Well, the name of today's show is going to be Today's Angling Anarchy. What's going on, everybody? My name's Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy and today's angler. See what I did there? I smushed them together all into one little fancy package. I have my good friend Lee Talkin up in the front of the boat here. Uh, we are out musky fishing uh, a couple days into the Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin musky opener, I should say. And we have had, this is the fourth day of absolutely beautiful weather. And I love it when people tell me that because I look at them sideways and go, I want some clouds maybe a rain shower somewhere because beautiful days are usually not musky days but that being said we've had some some good luck there are a lot of fish in the system that we're fishing here and we are hoping that we are going to be lucky enough to put one of those fish into the net and uh and show it to you so i don't know if you have anything to add to any of that hi okay good enough that's all we need uh so we're gonna get to casting folks and see if we can put one of these muskies in the boat for you all right, folks, uh, I'm going to start out throwing a Lee Lures mini boiler. This is the gold sucker pattern, and it's pretty beat up. I've used this in a lot of river applications, which is what we're doing today. I've got it on a Chaos Tackle Assault Stick 2020 telescopic uh, surgical strike, 9 foot. This is an awesome little river setup uh, for throwing small baits. I've got it paired uh, with the Tranks 400 with the fins big game excess 80 pound really liking this line cast awesome doing a nice job so far and lee's up front throwing one of his ninja uh, blades because a lot of people are getting fish on blades so we're going to give that a stab today and see what happens they were going <laughs> Ooh. Oh, dude, dude, I just had one bump. Here, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Fat one. Oh, my gosh. Is that thing fat? Big one. Nice one. Oh, you got it. Right here, buddy. Right. I'm ready. Right here. Swim right in. Nope, nope. Oh my God. Dude, we did it. We did that it, brother. Was fast. That was quick. You don't waste any time, Brian. Nope, I, I don't like how you catch them. I don't screw around. I'll let you get the anchor down. Oh my gosh, dude. That thing was chubby. She bumped it out there while I was yeah. looking back, talking to you. I look back and there's nothing but a giant swirl. <sighs> okay. All right, folks, uh, we literally are maybe five minutes into this and we've already got a fish in the net. I was, Lee had asked me a question and I looked back to talk to him and I felt a bump, looked out and there's a giant boil behind my mini boiler maker and followed it into the boat, ate right next to the boat. So really cool and it's a nice big fat fish, probably low to mid forties. So we're gonna get her out quick, take a look at her and get her back in the water. I've got a grab pair of pliers maybe because she was hooked really good in the corner of the mouth and let's see. there we go there we go all right lady all right i think i can get to you right through here okay that pop right there all right oh look at that fish oh what a gorgeous fish oh, boy. oh okay there we go there we go we're gonna get her on the bump quick she is 44 and a half, 44 and a half. but look at that belly oh what a gorgeous fish man <laughs> uh, all right i'm gonna try to drop her in over here 
Oh, 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 oh. There you go. There you go. She is so healthy. Yep. She righted herself. Bloop. How you doing there, girl? Yep. She's just going to hang out. She's like, what just happened? <laughs> I just had an out-of-body experience. <laughs> there she goes. She's just hanging out upright. We'll keep an eye on her. But wow, dude. That I was hope such a cool bike. I hope I didn't just jinx the whole thing by catching one too soon. <laughs> but I guess if that's what, <laughs> what has to happen, I'll take it. There she goes. She's pushing herself forward in the current. Right. There we go. Ooh. I got a small, tiny, bait-sized fish, but it is the first nibble <laughs> I've had today. Is it a piker? You are Mr. Pike. Yep, it's piker. There he is. There <laughs> and is there he Mr. goes. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, we are crushing it, buddy. We are getting our butts <laughs> kicked right now. We're the ones getting crushed. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like the general census the other boats we've talked to though is yeah. nothing is happening. All the action was right away in the morning. And that's it. That's it. So, so we're just hoping for a late in the day sort of thing. We need some musky love. I don't I don't really want to drive all the way back home <laughs> at nine o'clock at night till <laughs> one in the morning. Right. <laughs> but it might come down to that. <laughs> Alright folks, a little late in the day update. Uh we caught a pike, so that's big news. <laughs> uh, it is just deadsville out here. We're seeing guys, you know, we're passing guys, guys that we know, you know, guys that we uh, trust to tell us the truth, and uh, nobody's seen anything. It is, it is pretty rough. It's about as rough as the sun is right now. When I started filming, it wasn't this bad. <laughs> but uh, uh, I mean, we've been having a good time out here, you know, just shooting the breeze, washing baits and uh, trying really hard not to get stuck on limbs and trees and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it just, it has died to get a fish that early. I really think every time I've ever done that, isn't that kind of a thing? Like you see a fish too soon or you catch a fish too soon and it just kiss screws up. Yes, it's definitely because it feels good in the moment and then afterwards you're like, I don't know if we should have done that. <laughs> That's what happened my last day out. Yeah. Got two back to back in 15 minutes, less than that, and then boom. And then that was it, the whole entire day. Yeah. Yep. So, as good as it feels to have one in the hand, boy, it just sometimes is a bad omen. But uh, I guess we'll just keep casting away for a little bit here. We're uh, contemplating life's decisions, and you know, we both have a three plus hour drive to get back home this evening. So, that is playing into the equation quite heavily right now. <laughs> so uh, we'll see uh, we'll see what we decide to do here. Yeah, okay. fish. I don't think it's big. Yeah, well, I don't know. Might just be a pike. Might just be a pike. Yep. Yep. Come on, get eaten. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> He's got a Yeah. Deal. Yeah. He's got something going on there. I'm not touching it. That's all you, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. That, that felt good for about two Ooh, seconds. He's going to shake off. He's going to lock out. Yeah. Come here, buddy. What a, what's he eating? Probably all those little shad that are chasing our baits. Oh yeah, he is fat. He's got a little... Got a weird, we gotta show that to the camera. Oh yeah. Big pimple. Don't pop it. <laughs> or something. 
All right, yeah, go away. Silly thing. Uh, all right, ladies and gents. Uh, boy. We that, caught a nice mu muskie today. It started out really, really good, and then it just kind of went downhill from there. <laughs> Sounds like that was the general census, everyone out here today. Everybody we talked to got a fish early, it seemed like. Yep. One, and then they yep. didn't see anything the rest, the rest of the day. day. So um, We're could, happy, though. We're very happy. I mean, could we eke one out? Yes. Do we both have, like, four-plus-hour drives to get home? Also, yes. Uh, so, <laughs> Mashed potato factor high right now. Indeed. Uh, but it, it's always so much fun. Lee and I don't get a chance to get out and fish that much. I think no. that's the first muskie we ever got together. Yeah, that's a fact. So uh, that's a special thing. Um, I uh, just, yeah, I can't talk. I just, I'm tired and... <laughs> yeah, I'm tired too. I'm sunburned. So, Ooh, yep. I can feel it. Very intense sun today. <laughs> yeah, it was. All weekend. I mean, this is day four for me on the water, so... Um, and we're talking water temps over 70 already. Yeah. So, I, yeah, in a hot 90 all week, so... I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to happen fast. Yeah, yeah, that's unreal for this earlier in May, you know. For sure. Not even June yet. You know, these are like July conditions that we're looking at, so. We need some rain, folks. Definitely do, definitely do. But, uh, all right, well, I am going to leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't checked out today's angler, that is a sin, and you should go over and do that. Uh, I'll leave a description for them. Uh, wow, I'll leave a link for them in the description below. Something like that. We gotta wrap this thing up, because my words aren't matching up with what my brain is trying to say. So, I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess, and I'll see you on the next video.